624 Tuesday morning time to talk technology and joining me this morning Keith Atchison from Fusion Interactive Group and this morning we're talking about a new way advertisers are using your phone to connect with you in even more ways than you ever thought possible. Yeah, beacon technology is what it's called. And, and your phone is basically the beacon, right? The phone is the beacon and there's these transmitters that are around you that um, are sending shortwave signals through Bluetooth. It's called Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, yeah. and, and it just pings off of different apps on your phone. And of course, Facebook is at the forefront mm. experimenting with this yeah. in New York City. Yeah, Facebook's at the, at the forefront of it. They're, um, they're running a test uh, this, this winter into the spring uh, with eight different shops throughout Manhattan. I think they're doing one with a museum and a, and a couple of different retail shops. And as you walk by these shops, uh, if your Facebook app is on, it will, it will ping you messages about the shop with offers and videos and promotions and so forth. Hey, come in, 15% off for you alone just because you're special and you're, you're walking by with Facebook that, open. That's correct, and it's right in your news feed, too, so it's really easy to find. It pops right up, and that's part of how stores are looking at this. What about <clears throat> entertainment? Th that world is also looking at ways of trying to basically reel you in. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned museums. So yep. museums is a great, um, a great venue for this new technology with the beacons. And as you're walking through museums, uh, you know, it will send you information about the exhibit that you're about to look at. You know, you can push you a video because so you can learn a little more in depth, but you know, outside of just looking at that sort of static uh, piece, you know, that's in front of you, that exhibit. And you've already got the technology because you've already got the phone. So it's just a matter of kind of hooking up with that phone from inside the museum. Yeah, that's correct. And it's, and it's run through an app. So as long as it's, it's uh, incorporated into the app, then, you know, that, that transmission will happen. So. Sports is obviously a big thing for people who are on social media. People watch social media or watch sports while having their social media open. Is there a kind of a, a connection there as well? Yeah, for sure. There's, uh, you know, so the, the major sports leagues, uh, the Major League Baseball and NFL and NBA, they're all kind of testing out throughout different parks and you know if you think about going up to the, the upper level in an, in an arena for yeah. example it might send you a, a message that says hey did you know we've got all these seats down here below and if you go to the ticket the ticket booth and you, you can get it for up. an extra 20, 20 bucks or something wow you know, so. of course you got to get the wi-fi lined up better That's a little right. bit in some of those arenas because it right. isn't good we hear those complaints <laughs> this is a great opportunity i would imagine for developers for app developers yeah absolutely yes yeah, so that's a little bit what we do and so as um, as you're developing mobile apps um, you know you have to just consider this this new beacon technology and and build these notifications into the app that you're developing and and uh, it's just it's just great for retailers and a lot of different uh, companies so. not quite big yeah. brother but this is an opt-in opt-out kind of thing right if you don't it want is. it you can say cut me off I yeah don't want you can this. certainly turn off your notifications or, or disable like in Facebook's case yeah. it's called place tips you can disable place tips that's yeah. important all right Keith yeah. Atchison from fusion we appreciate it thanks for being with us Thank tech you. talk Tuesday as always